Well, hello guys, hope you're doing well. Uh, welcome back to my channel. This video is about um, comparison of mining uh, CAS on KS0 Pros, uh, actually on KS0 Regionals, uh, CASPA versus Cedra coins. So we're going to be comparing two coins with exactly the same hash rate. Both of these miners running 500 giga hash total. There's three miner on each pool. And uh, they mining at the same time, so we are in uh, real time mining uh, both algorithms and just to compare. So every day will uh, our profitability will change. So I don't know if you've seen from last video, uh, I did a lot better on Cedra uh, yesterday and uh, in dollar value, but since the Cedra dropped uh, to nine cents, it's actually less than nine. If we go and add another dot. It's 87, right? So it's not sense, but three zeros, 87. Uh, versus the Caspa actually went up a little bit from um, Caspa price went from 1484 to 15 uh, cents, uh, a little bit over 15 cents just in the um, last day. So the greater is actually in value in the Caspa now versus Cedra from yesterday, but today uh, we did again a little bit better in Cedra. So if Cedra is still going down the price on Cedra, um, so this coin been really, really uh, fluctuating a lot and going down in the last couple of days from almost uh, uh, 2014 to 308, right? So it's a huge drop there and now we can see that before we had a lot more in dollar value in Cedra and now to compare for Caspa and then now we are actually um, looking back we are less in dollar value in Cedra than in Caspa since the Caspa going up uh, and then the Caspa went down here a little bit so yes it was kind of a little bit uh, better in Cedra still uh, but here uh, today, as of today, recording of uh, March 6, it's 7.26 p.m. We are doing better again in Cedra, but if tomorrow Cedra keep going down, this number's going to change. I just want to guys show you this because uh, if you are trying to mine in Cedra and uh, Cedra continue dropping down, uh, it seems like you're making more, but the next day uh, over, it's going to become pretty soon negative if it's keep going down, even though... Uh, if today a value is better you know what I mean so it looks like it's better today but if I sell this and the price still going down I still make more in dollar value however if it I'm gonna keep it um, it just for long term I don't know if Cedra ever gonna go up and recover nobody knows but this is a new coin and uh, it's on heavy hash so we don't know it could be another hype so it's it's all depends how the sets are gonna go here uh, if we keep it uh, it'll be a completely different game so what I'm pl planning to do for this uh, continue to do in this video is just to keep Cedra I'm not gonna sell and I'm gonna see how the value if it drops or going up and so we can review maybe a couple weeks later like hey how did we do it did we mine Cedra okay or it's actually was a mistake because we kind of lost it all um, and we went negative there or it could be opposite opposite from that if uh, Caspa going down Cedra going up and uh, in value and we could make potentially a lot more in Cedra if we hold so obviously it's the crypto game so really hard to predict nobody knows what's gonna be but um, lately everybody's talking about new ox uh, and Neox um, uh, node, so uh, I kind of was mining Neox oh, back like maybe a year ago uh, when GPU um, uh, stopped mining Ethereum. I just switched to some of it on Neox, I believe, and I have few some of this coin I, I didn't sell. But uh, I need you need a million to run the node, obviously. But uh, everybody's talking about Neox so lately I'm kind of just behind on this uh, project I know it's kind of cool with the gaming and stuff but uh, yeah I just need to kind of keep track on that and see where I'm at with my uh, wallet and where is my total value of Neox 
but uh, as of today video I'm just gonna show you guys uh, so for the hump um, on the hump pool I'm running for the uh, Caspa and uh, SDR uh, Cedra is on the K1 pool so really is um, here what I want to show you is the uh, how do I determine uh, if I'm doing okay of all of my Caspa miners so I have run some uh, data from hashrate.no and also I'm comparing this uh, to you uh, actually use information and by the way guys the the uh, hash rate is been pretty stable I mean it, it went up and to 180 and back to 170 so it's fluctuating a lot I don't know what's what's going on there probably they will switch into Cedra or start a new miners but uh, we're still kind of hovering around I thought we're gonna be already at 190 but the biggest thing here with Caspa is the block reward change to 123 Caspa a day and actually to be uh, exact it's the um, it's actually a little uh, more than 123 I believe it's a hundred twenty three point uh, where are we right here 123.47 so that's the number we use in there uh, to calculate the reward and then also I'm using this average from uh, minor stats which is pretty much gives me a pretty good idea right so what is um, the hash rate for a day uh, that I was mining and actually it's switching also around three or four o'clock here in Pacific time to the new date so I think it's running kind of China time I don't know from in China or something like that I don't know exactly but uh, looks like it's switching uh, here to the new it's already showing March here 7th uh, although today is 7 30 p.m. and it's March 6th so um, so that's the information I'm using per day for this table and right there I, I am updating this over here on all the way at the top and that's calculate for me so using the network hash rate total network hash rate as of right now the Casper reward block right there right so and it's all calculates for me all the rewards for every single miner and how many Caspa uh, average a day I should be able to mine with this uh, information right so if I'm going down here I'm actually have uh, to compare when I enter all my information per day and then I have how my uh, miners how my ASICs perform here on uh, every day so as of today as of today recording right I updated all the miners at 3 o'clock at 3 p.m and I could see my K0 originals supposed to make 31.06 Caspa uh, all these three miners that run 175 so it's actually 500 total giga hash here uh, I'm sorry I need to update that and there is a two here miners that run 280 that's 560 and there are seven miners here on 320 that's runs to 2250 giga hash so that's the total hash rate for these guys so that's calculates how, how many caspa uh, as of today i supposed to mine here to one caspa per hash rate that and all now uh, i actually mine and this is what i actually mine today so this is today uh actual coin today okay and so this is give me uh, after I fill up all this information uh, how many coins I mine and all that this is give me that um, update here it pulls the formula pulls all this information from the last coins it's kind of complicated I don't want to go into the formulas but um, here you go as for my K0 originals I actually uh, behind one Caspa so it didn't perform for me on the hump pool now this K0, uh, my solar miners actually did a little bit better, uh, not too much, but 0.3 Caspa. So at least I am within the range of where I'm supposed to be, right? So that's good. And it's also on hump pool. Now my K0 Pro is also on hump pool, but uh, it's actually one Caspa behind as well, which is not too bad considering the hash amount here, 
versus the K0 original. So I guess K0 originals not performing very well today. Sometimes they actually outperform. So very day is kind of different, but this give me a general idea. Like if any of my miners uh, running good or some something behind too much or not. So where my uh, BMKS Max is actually outperformed by four Casper a day was supposed to be 657 and it did 662 Caspers today, uh, which is great. And then my KS03 is actually three Casper behind. So and so forth. My KS3, uh, the second one that's overclocked to 85 gig hash, doing actually 8400 gig hash. Um, outperform all of the miners by 7.9 Casper and so my KS3M also second that it's actually running only 5900 giga hash also outperform so um, it's it's fluctuate I believe this this all miners running on K1 pool so there should be all in the same kind of average it's all the same pool so it's kind of makes no sense why would in the same pool they perform differently but I think because of the hash rate on each miner fluctuate a little bit so if I add this all together in sum I am still outperforming uh, by 14 uh, uh, 14 Casper right there so so there is no negative is actually it's, it's it's still good okay so I did better than uh, the uh, my rating here for 173 Giga hash today actually it's 174 so I actually all for this a6 uh, mining today is outperforming I believe if I put 174 for the uh, average uh, today network hash rate is actually gonna even look better here if I scroll down behind yeah so it's all outperformance here uh, showing a lot better so we did uh, 30 Casper extra uh, next day it could be not as much so it's basically every day slightly fluctuate I'm trying to average up um, but to watch like if I'm something like too much negative something going on with the miner maybe it's been restarting like right here actually I know KS3 my KS3 one for some reason restarted once today and that may cause potentially kind of you know See, set it off behind of the mine and it lost maybe 30 minutes because it's restarted after it went back online and back on full hash and like you know it takes 30 minutes to completely report everything back so you do lose this um, extra caspa mining for this day so anyways and that's that's gives me an idea like if any of my miners going offline or something not going on right because if you could just open your uh, the tools and everything looks great on your monitor and then you will be like oh everything's supposed to be cool but then I know this KS3 my first one is actually restarted 19 hours ago that's why it just gave me a little bit different um, um, performance here in my table so that's one of the way to track and um, gives me idea here so that's what I want to show you this in the video like you guys uh, if you're tracking your you know miners if you have spe especially multiple miners it's kind of hard to tell which ones you know doing good or being restarted if unless you constantly check in your uh, actual ASIC but at the end of the day you can just have this data and like you know you know where you are supposed to be how did you perform today and I'm kind of tracking all this data throughout you know almost from beginning of the Caspa mining which is kind of crazy but that just uh, for me data to play back and go back in the year or last year and see how much you know Caspa just crazy how many Caspa K0 original did before uh, back in last year June you know to compare to today's I, I, you know I can't even do the same amount of Caspa with my <laughs> BMKS max you know it's 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 a lot less it's 600 Caspa a day where K0 original was doing almost 12 or 1400 cast per day so it's crazy to think about that right now so similar to Sidra, Sidra, Sidra coin or Sidra coin whatever you call that 
is actually is doing like a crazy numbers you know like it's it's 5000 coins 5300 coins right now and obviously the hash rate there on the pool is like between 3 and 5 pentahash uh which a lot of miners kind of switch in between caspa and cedra but um it's it's all for for me is just an idea like where if i'm switching around does it really benefit anywhere so kind of want to track this uh two miners down and bring to the point like hey we do we really need to do that or it's like it's better stay on the caspa or maybe it makes sense to you know make a little bit diversify a little bit and have some of it on caspa some of them on cedra and then you know eventually maybe uh, if caspa not performing as well maybe um if cedra coin appreciate it'll be a little bit beneficial to do that. So again, that's video, not, not financial advice, but just kind of like to give you uh, some info to think about it and like, okay, does it really make sense? Because I lost here, like yesterday, it was probably uh, doing, I need to check my video when I <laughs> post it now. I can remember like Cedra was doing a lot better. Now it's <laughs> obviously less... Um, value in cedra because the coin dropped caspa went up almost a cent well half a cent maybe a little less than half but cedra dropped like crazy from um, 0011 to 0009 which is uh, insane it's like what 30 percent probably or more so that's that's the point of this video and just want you guys to show you how i track it and how i do the decision on the between mining this Casper and Cedra, it's really it's it, this one is just a spec and just spe spec speculative, you know, mining right now because we don't know what Cedra gonna bring, like any other coin that's new. So, anyways, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.